Good evening, folks, and welcome to Shower Fairy the channel. So today, this video will be my review of Sonic the Hedgehog. There will be spoilers within this video, and I'll let you know when they're when I'm about to spoil something. So let's get right into it. So I think a Sonic is rated PG. Throughout the movie, I think there is absolutely no no curse words, no swearing. However, there is blasphemy, which is extremely disappointing. So, for instance, you have the occasional OMG, which, by the way, that is blasphemy, y'all. For, for Christians who try to say that, well, you know, you're not calling on God's name. However, you Christians know that there is only one God, and he has many names. But Jesus, of course, we know is the name of the Son, who is God also. So, um, there's at least maybe three OMGs that I've heard. I even, I hate saying that myself. And there was one scene, a uh, mild spoiler, where I think his name was Tom, the police, and his wife, they were at their, uh, they were at the white sister's house. And she automatically has some type of grudge against the husband. Anyway, while the, they're all three of them are bickering because the cop comes in with Sonic, who was injured by a blast due to Dr. Robotnik slash Eggman. So while they're arguing, the the older sister says uh, um, something like, "Oh, sweet baby Jesus," uh, and. It was almost like the whole movie theater just kind of went silent on that little pun. Like, because, um, it is definitely, without the blasphemy, the movie is perfect. So there were many children at the movie theater. And there were, of course, when there's children, there are parents. And, again, when she said that, you can almost hear the moan. I was just like, come on. Movie would have been perfect. As far as you know, uh, the uses, the usage of words, or swearing and blasphemy, it was completely uncalled for. Again, if they would have just left out calling on the Lord's name for something stupid like that. And by the way, you know, baby Jesus, come on now. If anyone is a Christian and they read the Word of God, you we know that the Lord Jesus. Has been resurrected. He died when he was dirty three. Resurrected. So he is no longer an infant. So that is a. That's always been incorrect. But still you know. Using the name of the Lord. In vain like that. You know. Th that was just totally uncaused for. And you know what. I'm not going to. Um, spoil too much in the movie more. I will say that, you know, it, it had its corny moments because it is supposed to be family friendly. And again, I'll stress again, if it didn't have the, the blasphemy, the movie would have been clean. But, um, if, you know, say that movie comes out on DVD, which it will, mute out the blasphemy and you got a clean movie. So, yeah, you know what? I, I'm not going to spoil the movie like how I thought. But I was amused by it. The plot was nice and simple. And I will say, redesigning Sonic saved that movie. I know it did. Because uh, Sonic was throughout the movie, because hey, it's called Sonic. His animation is very adorable. And it's just that. Can you imagine if the original movie had that first design of Sonic throughout? Boy. I probably just wouldn't be able to stand it because that Sonic was so ugly. He was hideous. He just looked like a deformed, uh, mutated human being type of thing. So Sonic's redesign and some of the scenes that they redid, it, it, I know that played, to me, that played a great role in saving that movie. So, um... And of course, Jim Carrey did an excellent job, but he was all, he's always been a, a very good actor, you know, in spite of his strange, weird behavior when he's not acting. 
but now I would recommend the movie. I would actually give it a 10 if it wasn't for the blasphemy. Because usually with blasphemy, you know, that really destroys the whole movie for me. And in truth, it, it did. Uh, so, in fairness, I guess I can give it a 9. Even though with the blasphemy, you know, I can almost give it a 5. But, um... Yeah, I'll give it a 9. That's just my personal uh, review of it. Movie. Corny. Had a lot of family themes in it. Mild action. Mild violence. And it was a good little... An hour, 40 minute long movie that... It was good. So kudos to Sega and big big kudos to the team who redesigned Sonic because again I believe redesigning him made a gigantic difference especially with all the drama going on with Hollywood snubbing fans not listening to us anymore I'm not saying that every fan has good ideas because some of us don't but Hollywood is on this campaign of shoving feminism and LGBTism down our throats. And this is all part of a plan. You know, homosexuality is all about indoctrination. And they may not, I mean, who knows? A lot of people aren't seeing their movies, these Hollywood movies. But somebody sadly might get indoctrinated. And I don't think Hollywood is going to stop. So, um, anyway. That's it for right now. And it was a rare opportunity for me. I rarely go to movies. But it was alright. It's just that I just hate... You know, you just can't seem to escape the little things that can ruin an entire movie. So that's all for this short video. Hope y'all having a good night or day. And I'll talk to y'all later.